hello students welcome to my channel engineers academy kindly subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon to receive the notification for the upcoming problem solutions i am going to solve this problem from chapter 4 in this problem we are given this truss and we are asked to find the forces in each member of this truss so we will start from this giant c since as i have told you people that we will uh, start our solution from that giant where we have at least one known and two unknowns right so here at this giant c we the unknowns are the cd forces and the cd force and bc member force right and as i have told you people that whenever there are uh, three forces at a given joint so we will arrange we will assume the direction of these three forces in such a way that they should make a close triangle right so that the uh, resultant of these three forces by head to tail rule is is equal to zero since this joint c will be in equilibrium right if we assume that the direction in bc member is is in this direction and let's say that the direction of the force direction of cd member is in this direction let's say this is the cd uh, force direction and this is bc right so if i draw the free body diagram if i join these three forces by head to tail rule so they should give me a close triangle right so let's say that this is that 5000 force which is given so this is 5000 newton and let's say that this is my bc force if i place it here right and let's say this is bc force right and let's say that this is my cd force right so this bc force should be acting in this direction and this cd force must be acting in this direction why because the head to tail rule should give us the resultant of these three force is equal to zero since this joint c is in equilibrium since the whole truss is in equilibrium right so this means that this is that cd force and this is bc force and this is that 5000 force let me write it here so this is 5000 force right now as we can see that this this member cd and this ab member they are parallel and this uh, ad member and this bc member they are parallel right so if i draw a horizontal line here so this means that if this is 45 degrees and if this line is parallel to this line so this angle is 45 degrees and if this is 45 degrees so then this is also 45 degrees right so the these two angles are alternate angles so this means that this angle is 45 degree and as we can see that this is vertical line so then this is 90 degree angle and this angle is 45 right so now as we can see this is a right angle triangle so this 5000 is the sine component of this bc if we consider uh, this angle right so we can say that bc sine of 45 degree is equal to 5000 newton right so we are only talking about the magnitude right so the magnitude bc sine of 45 is equal to 5000 right we can also apply the sine's law to this triangle as well right so if if i write that bc divided by the sine of the opposite angle so the opposite angle is 90 so this is sine 90 and this will be equal to 5000 divided by sine of 45 right so we can say that this is sine 45 and sine 90 is 1 right so this is 1 so we can say that bc is 5000 divided by sine of 45 and similarly this equation also give us this same equation right so this is 5000 divided by sine of 45 degrees right so bc is 500 divided by sine of 45 and similarly this cd magnitude uh, will be equal to bc cos of 45 since it's the cos component of this bc right so we can say that cd is equal to bc cos of 45 degrees so when we solve this so bc comes out to be 7071 newton and if we substitute the value of this bc in this equation so cd comes out to be 5000 newton and since this bc is acting towards the joint so this means that this is the compressive force so we will see this as c we will write c with it and similarly this cd is acting away from the joint so this means that this is the tension force So now we know this CD, so we can write that this CD is 
thousand newton and this BC is seven zero seven one right so now uh, we can solve this joint D since uh, at this joint we have two unknowns and we have one known force right so let's say and at this joint D this since this CD is the tension force so this at this joint this CD will be acting in the opposite direction right so this will be acting in this direction right now we need to select we need to assume the direction of these two member forces in such a way that these three forces sh should make a close triangle so now if if we say that this is the CD force which is horizontal right so this CD force is horizontal if I write this is CD and if we assume that this AD force is acting in this direction let's say if we assume that this is acting in this direction if I place it here right so then if this is the case so then this BD force must be acting in this direction right so this means that BD force will be acting in this direction in order to make a close triangle right so this is CD this is the AD so I will write that this is AD and this is BD force now if I draw a horizontal line here let's say this is that AD right if I draw a horizontal line here so as we can see that this AD is making 45 degrees with the horizontal so this angle is 45 degrees so this means that this angle is also 45 degree and this is that BD force so we do not know this angle let's say that this angle is alpha so first we need to find this alpha angle right so we do not know this alpha angle so for that uh, we know the length of this side and the length of this side and the included angle be between these two so now uh, using these uh, values we can find the length of this BD and once we find this BD so then we will be able to find this alpha angle so we can apply the law of cosines to this ABD triangle right so we can write that BD whole square will be equal to this uh, AD square we can write this AD square plus these are the length of AD's member these are not forces remember right so this is AD square plus AB square minus 2 into AD into AB cause of the included angle which is 45 degrees right so we can say that this is 5 square plus 6 square minus 2 into 5 into 6 and this will be cause of 45 degree and if we take the square root so this will give us the length of BD so the length of this BD member comes out to be 4.31 meters so now we know the length of uh, this BD member which is 4.31 meters so now we know uh, three sides of this triangle and one angle so we can apply the sine's law to find this alpha angle right so if I apply the sine's law to this uh, ABD triangle so then sine of alpha divided by the magnitude of the opposite side which is 5 so this will be equal to BD this BD so we know uh, the sine, sine of 45 divided by BD right so sine of 45 divided by BD so BD is 4.31 right so I will write 4.31 so this means that sine of alpha will be equal to 5 we can say that sine of alpha is equal to 5 into this thing right and this will give us alpha right so alpha will be equal to sine inverse 5 sine of 45 degrees divided by 4.31 right so this will give us the alpha angle which is required now uh, when we solve this so alpha comes out to be 55.12 so this is 55.12 and if this is 55.12 so this means that this angle is also 55.12 since both of these are alternate angles so this is 55.12 right and this force is BD force right so now uh, we know this CD force which is 5000 right so let me write that this CD is 5 thousand newtons so now we can apply the sine's law but first we have to find this angle as well right so we can find this angle let's say that this angle is beta 
so we can say that this alpha plus beta plus 45 degrees all these three angles are supplementary angles right so their sum will be equal to 180 degrees so this means that beta will be equal to 180 minus 45 minus 55.12 so this will give us that beta angle so beta comes out to be uh, 79.88 degrees so now we can find this both of these uh, forces AD and BD so now if I apply the sine's law to this triangle right so this means that uh, AD let's say if I say that AD divided by the sine of the opposite angle which is 55.12 and this will be equal to 5000 divided by the sine of the opposite angle so this this opposite angle is this beta right so sine of beta which is 79.88 degrees so AD will be equal to if I multiply this with sine of 55.12 so this will be AD right so we can find AD by using uh, this equation. AD comes out to be uh, 4167, right? So we can say that this is 4167 Newtons. And as we can see that this AD is acting away from the joint, right? So this means that this is the tension force, right? So this AD is 4167 Newton and this is the tension force. And similarly, we can apply the sine's law to this equation, to this triangle, to find that BD. So BD divided by the sine of the opposite angle, which is 45, right? So I will write sine of 45 degree, and this will be equal to 5000 divided by the sine of beta, right? So sine of beta is 79.88, and if if I multiply both sides with sine of 45, so this will be sine of 45 degree so this will give us BD the magnitude of BD force member comes out to be uh, 3591 right so this BD is 33591 Newton and as we can see that this BD is acting towards the joint so this means that this is the compressive force right so this is compressive force now to find the a b force uh, let's assume that that force is acting in this direction let's say that this is the direction of a b force and let me draw the forces at this uh, point b right so if i draw the force at this point b so we have one force which is acting in this direction sorry this BC force is acting in the opposite direction right here at this joint B it will be acting in this direction and at this point uh, this AD for this BD force will be acting in this opposite direction right so I have to draw this direction in the opposite direction so this will be B, uh, BC force right. let's say this is that BC and this is that BD force so that BD will be acting in this direction and let's say that this is that AB force and as we know that here uh, since here is a roller support there will be a reaction in this direction as well right so let's say that this reaction is BY right so we need to draw that reaction as well so let's say that that reaction is acting in this direction so this will be acting in the upward direction right so this is that B y reaction right so for that we have to resolve these uh, forces right so this is bc this one is bd we know the magnitude of bd right so this is 3591 newton and we know the magnitude of this bc which is 7071 newton right this is by so if i resolve this bc force into its component so it will have one component in this direction and it will have one component in this direction and this is 45 degree we know this right and we know this angle as well which is 55.12 uh, is 55.12 and this BD will have two components right so it will have one component in this direction and it will have one component in this direction and this is a B force which is required right so which we need to find so if in this a B force is acting in the X direction so if I apply the summation of forces along X equals to 0 right and if if this is our positive x direction 
So as we can see that this AB is acting in the negative x direction, so I will write minus AB and this component is the cos component of this BC and it is acting in the negative x direction, so we will write minus BC which is 7071 cos of 45 degree and similarly this BD component, this, this component of BD, this is the co uh, if this is the angle, so then this is the cos component, right? So this is BD cos component, so we can say that this is acting in the positive x direction, so we will write plus BD and the magnitude of BD is 3591 cos of 55.12 equals to 0. So now in this equation only AB is unknown, so we can find AB using this equation. So using this equation the AB magnitude comes out to be minus 2.46 Newton so this means that the assumed direction of the AB is in is not accurate right so we have to reverse the direction of this AB so this means that AB is acting towards the joint right so this is AB and since this is acting towards the joint so this means that this is the compressive force so we will write that AB is 2946 Newton and this is the compressive force. So this is the solution of this particular problem.